Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing eight ways that you might be wearing your shoes wrong and how to fix solutions. I'll be showing bad examples and good examples better ways to wear your shoes. So maybe you're new to my channel, maybe you've never seen it before, but I love making these kind of videos where I offer solutions, better ways of doing things, and hopefully you learn a few things and, and even hear some things you've never heard of before. So while you hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, subscribe, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check my zipper because I am genuinely concerned that it is down. I think we're good to go. We've had that, that issue in the past, but without further ado, let's get started. So here they are, knee, knee high boots. These have definitely become a lot more popular in recent years and they're also fa fairly heavy. So let me just, I highly recommend that you always wear skinny jeans with knee high boots. They, they, knee high boots can be amazing. They can make your legs look so long, but they need to be long and smooth and, and not lumpy. Lumpy just kind of like ruins the whole look. So you might hate skinny jeans, but if you have a pair of knee high boots, invest in skinny jeans and just wear them when you put these boots on. And another thing that I want to say about the knee high boots, I, I really recommend that if you actually match the boots to your pants, so if you're wearing black, boots wear black jeans or black pants and it will make your legs look miles long. It's a really cool trick. I also have this gray pair. Um, if I put on gray jeans, it just makes my legs look so much longer and leaner and, and just better overall. While we're on the subject of boots, I want to move on to boots with dresses, which if done correctly can look so stylish and unique and, and just better than maybe just a typical dress shoe. So sometimes I see women or girls wearing a really cute dress with a pair of very low booty boots. Basically where it just cuts off right at the ankle. And I just think it would look so much better if you actually wear longer boots to again, elongate your legs. You're wearing a dress and so dresses show off your legs. It doesn't have to even be like a really short dress, but the emphasis is supposed to be on your legs. So if you wear just a little bit higher of a boot, it looks so much better. The next thing that I want to talk about involves wearing very light or even white shoes. So that could be flats or it could be boots, it doesn't really matter, the same principle applies. So if you're wearing very light shoes, make sure the rest of your outfit is kind of in the same family, also very light. It looks very strange and out of place to have super bright white shoes with a very dark outfit on top. And it works the other way as well. So say you're wearing a very light, fresh, bright outfit and you throw in a pair of black shoes, they just look out of place. The next thing you should do is avoid the bulge. That sounds so bad. What I'm actually referring to is jeans inside boots. We're gonna get to the, the controversial thing of cuffing versus non-cuffing in a minute. So uh, when it comes to pants, there's that option. But what I'm talking about is if you're not cuffing and you're actually, you want to stick your pants into your, your boots, uh, you wanna avoid the bulge. So the trick here is to actually find the correct level of socks uh, and actually stick your pants in the socks. <laughs> So, see this is a science. Stick your pants in the socks so that they actually are kind of like molded to your leg and there's no bulge. The, one of the worst things that I can see or that I, I do see when it comes to wearing boots uh, it is that weird little, it's like a bulge. It's like your leg, bulge, boot. No, no bueno, no good. To cuff or not to cuff? That is the question. Okay, so to be totally honest, Sometimes I wonder if cuffing your pants down around your ankles is maybe becoming outdated. I'm not really sure yet, but if you do want to cuff your jeans or your pants, there's a few things I recommend. Number one, don't make the cuffs too thick and bulky or too like long. They just, it really cuts off your leg. It makes your legs look really short and kind of stubby. Uh, I also recommend that if you cuff your pants, make sure there's a little sliver of your ankle still showing. I have no idea why that looks better, but it really does. And sometimes it's the little details that go a long way. But my personal preference is to actually not cuff and find pants already the correct length, or you could get them hemmed because a lot of stores actually do that for free now. Uh, I just think it looks so much more sleek and clean. It just looks more stylish when your pants kind of lead into your shoes, but still show still show just a little bit of that ankle. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I used to cuff all the time. I'm just finding myself liking the no cuff a little bit better. The next thing we need to talk about is wearing sneakers with 
normal outfits. And, and I know in a recent video, I talked about how I, I personally think it looks a little bit off when you're wearing very athletic, bright running shoes with like a nice outfit with like a sweater and jeans. To me, it doesn't, it looks just a little bit off, uh, but there's so many sneakers out there that are more casual. They're more just like fashion sneakers. Like these are golden goose dupes. I have, you know, Converse sneakers. I've got van sneakers. I've got a pair of Gucci sneakers that are super cute. There's something that you need to do all of the time. And that is to wear no show socks. Uh, even when, when just a little bit of the socks are peeking out, it just ruins the entire look. And I know it's, again, a small detail, but it's a big detail. Wear these. They're little peds. They keep your foot not sweaty and gross, but you can't see them in there. Again, it's all about showing a little bit of that ankle. Who knew ankles were so good? Next, we're gonna talk about red shoes and leopard shoes. Not exactly sure why I'm combining them into the same point, but I think it's because they both pack a punch. So when it comes to the red shoes, uh, I really recommend wearing blacks and whites on top just because the red is such a bold color that a lot of other colors can easily clash with this. So that's kind of my rule of thumb. And then when it comes to my beloved leopard, oh my beloved leopard, I just love wearing neutrals with this just because it is such a busy pattern uh, and, and it can confuse the eye if you do too many colors and there's just too much going on and can kind of, oh, your, your outfit can become overwhelming. So I stick to whites, blacks, beiges, browns, light tones, dark tones, really just basic because leopard is not basic. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is wearing flared jeans with certain shoes and what to do and what not to do. So I know some people hate flared jeans. They kind of just think they're from the 90s and they'll, they'll never go back to them. But I think that in certain outfits, they can actually really make your body and your legs look amazing. But the key is to always wear heels. Uh, heels really, they just, they really help in this situation. Flares are typically a little bit longer than other types of jeans. And so they have a tendency to drag on the floor. Uh, and then there's that little puddle at the bottom that just looks so bad. So if you just get a little elevation, that makes a big difference. And I also think that wearing pointy shoes with heels kind of makes it a little more relevant to our our day and age. Whereas the 90s was all about the round toe and, and the flares. And that's kind of what I think dates it a little bit. Whereas if you go the, the pointier route or even square toed route, uh, it'll look more of this decade. <laughs> so that does it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below. And then right up here, I'll link more videos, one being 10 fashion rules you should actually follow. And then on this side, some best selling Amazon clothing pieces that I love. This is actually from Amazon. I can link it below. It's not in this video but I really like my Amazon clothes. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.